and that's how I punch myself in the face. All right, and that's where we're gonna leave this episode. All right, and the first thing we're gonna do is get this pedal box out, disconnect all the cables, unbolt it, and take it out so we can put it in the XC70. That is gonna be 10 times easier if we take the seats out first so we have better uh, accessibility. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, now that the seat is out, I have much easier access down here. Uh, picked up some dimes, so I'm definitely making money back here. Penny, penny, 12 cents, boom. So now to the pedal box. All right, and I finally got the dash out of the S60R. It was a huge pain, but you can clearly see it is not there anymore. Uh, it is over here, which is not in the normal position. That was super helpful because now we have to do the exact same thing on the XC70. So let's get started. Nah, I'm just kidding, I already did it. That would be very boring and repetitive for you to watch. So I got the dash out here. Uh, it was the exact same process as over here because these are the same chassis. Uh, the one thing that was different was the shifter. On the manual transmission, you just unscrew this and it comes up. On the automatic, uh, it is a much different procedure. You undo this collar down here, this plastic collar, and then you basically grab this with both hands, pull up as hard as you can. It doesn't give, it doesn't wiggle, it doesn't slowly start to loosen. All of a sudden it just lets go and goes straight up. And that's how I punch myself in the face. Right here, you can barely see it. That was yesterday, but it is still swollen and very tender. I thought I was gonna have a black eye. Um, so I had to stop working on the cars because I needed to put an ice pack on my eye so it wouldn't swell up. But I got the shifter out, uh, it is ready to go. So you can see down here on the S60R, there are three pedals, uh, your clutch, your brake, your accelerator. Um, these are all actually independent assemblies. I thought they were one pedal box. So the accelerator is the exact same part number on this and the wagon. The brake pedal is different because it is much narrower on the automatic, it's thicker. Obviously there's no clutch over in the automatic. So we need to take out both of these and all of the components behind them and transfer them over to the wagon. All right, so I was finally able to get both pedal boxes out. So now we get to do the fun part. We get to take the uh, clutch pedal assembly uh, from the S60R, put it in the wagon, finally give it three pedals. And I've got my little helper here to help me do the job. Isn't that right? All right, let's go. All right, so now that we got the pedals all dealt with, we can work on getting this uh, six-speed shifter into uh, the automatic transmission car. So this one is pretty covered in uh, cigarette ash and some other types of tar and stuff. So I'm gonna clean it thoroughly before we put it in. Uh, it has these two cables. They run underneath here and you can kind of see them right there going through the firewall. That goes all the way out and they come out right here. And right here is the exact same position you can kind of barely see down there, right there. There's the same grommet in the same position. So let's get to work. All right, so I finally got this one off by just putting the proper sized wrench in there that fit over the ball. I just snapped it out, that's one down. So there we go, the shifter assembly is out and in need of a big cleaning. 
And these cables now can go through this grommet under here. So that'll be the next project. Very nice. Okay, so down here, we have one and two bolts. We'll pop those out and start feeding this grommet through that way. Then all you have to do is adjust your grommet out of the way, shift it through right there, and then you can start slowly pulling on these cables. All right, we got the grommet all over here. All right, so I shifted it a little bit. Oh, look at that, they come out perfectly one by one. Now they can go over here. All right, and here are the two shifter cables. This one on the bottom is the automatic. This one on the top is the manual. That has two cables instead of the one. The grommets in the center are exactly the same. These are the parts that go to the transmission, and these are the parts that go to the shifter. So it's been a couple <clears throat> uh, weeks since I started this project. I'm finally getting back to finishing it. Uh, there's a ton of small work in getting the dashboard in and out, figuring out where everything goes, but there are some huge developments and I wanted to show it to you before everything kind of gets buttoned up. So the first big one is that we now have three pedals. They all work, I guess, ish. Um, nothing's loose. They're all installed using factory positions, which is awesome. Uh, the other big one is this bad boy. Uh, this is the six speed space ball shifter. So I already removed the cable uh, that goes from the key all the way down to the automatic transmission. It doesn't allow you to take it out of park unless you have the key in and turned. Um, this doesn't have that, but it does have the clutch sensor underneath there. So you have to have the clutch depressed in order to start it. And I'm going to put the seats from the S60R in here because they're bolstered on the side. There, I just need to double, triple check everything and then we should be good. Alright, this is awesome. I got the steering wheel, the seat in. Uh, these bolsters are in pretty bad condition, but they feel really good wobbling side to side. The three pedals down there, it's, it's pretty unreal that it used to not have that. Uh, now it does. And then this, of course, is the masterpiece. Um, so I'm just going to finish getting these back in and the passenger seat. I am super psyched with the progress of this project thus far. There are four more parts that I want to change out before we roll this car uh, out into the driveway so I have more space to work on the wagon. And those are the brakes. Uh, so these are the units that came on the XC70. These are 286 millimeter rotors on the front and 288 on the back. Uh, these are one piston uh, calipers here. Um, so they're definitely sufficient for braking, uh, but these are sufficienter. Uh, Volvo teamed up with Brembo in order to uh, develop this brake system for this car. On the front, they are 330 millimeter rotors, and on the back, they're also 330, so they're a lot more massive than the stock ones. And these are four piston rotors. These are absolutely massive. This thing will stop on a dime. So all we have to do is swap these out, put them over here, and get rid of these. All right, and the first step is to just get these spacers off. All right, that's one way to take it off. All right, and now we are over to these rotors and they use the exact same mounting setup uh, just with the special adapter. All 
right, and now lined up side by side, you can see the S60R, uh, the rotor is a lot larger than the XC70, and this caliper is absolutely massive compared to the stock one. Uh, so there's gonna be a huge increase in stopping power. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the rotors and calipers off of the S60R, and I'm gonna put them on the XC70. This looks awesome. And before anyone asks, if you're wondering if the Jeep wheels and tires will fit on it, they will. Just like that. It's actually kind of a lot of clearance in there, at least an inch. But yeah, we're good to go. And that's where we're gonna leave this episode. Uh, all the major components from the S60R have been swapped over to the XC70. Uh, the shifter, the pedals, uh, all the linkage, and of course the big brake kit front and back, and they just look so friggin' good on the front and the back. And look at what these look like. These are the stock XC70 brakes behind the S60R wheels. They're just so tiny. So that was a big improvement in stopping power uh, and they look really good. Uh, obviously when we put the wheels on, you're not gonna be able to see them, so it doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna roll the S60R out just so we have more garage space and I'm gonna take a bit of a break and then the next time we see the wagon, it will be getting everything buttoned up and we'll get it running and driving. It's gonna be a whole new beast, so definitely make sure you stay tuned. So if you're watching this far into the video, obviously you like the content, you like what this channel is doing and uh, this project. Uh, so please like and subscribe and definitely comment. Let me know what you liked about this episode, uh, what you would do to this car differently or ideas for the future so that I can make uh, the channel better and the project better. So until the next one, I'll see you later.